Hello everyone out there in video game world. Welcome to my let's play of Botanicula. Let's get started. Play new game. Let's do that. For those of you who don't know what this game is, Botanicula is a point and click adventure game where you play as little plant people. Not those people. You'll see them in a minute. This game came out in 2012 for the PC on Steam. Right now it's also available on Mac, Linux, and iPad. It is a point and click adventure game with beautiful graphics and a wonderful soundtrack. Botanicula. There it is, the title screen. Those are the five people we play as. Alright, so just a little bit of forward about everything. I'm recording this video, this whole Let's Play, with software called Bandicam. I've also tried Fraps and Hypercam. Those did not work out so well, so Bandicam seemed to be the right solution. Um, the one downside to that is that you cannot see my mouse when I hover over objects or when I click on them. Uh, I will do my best throughout the Let's Play to point out exactly when... I am hovering over something or clicking over something because the solutions always involve one of those two things. So right now I am hovering my mouse over the planet in the top right hand corner. And now the moon on the left and the planet on the left. Right now I'm hovering the mouse over this, uh, this branch thing and you'll see the little, uh, little threads kind of react to it. Pretty much every screen in this game, every area, will have things that will react to your mouse without you even having to click on them, so... Uh, right now, all we have to do is just click on these buds, and then the game will begin. The real game. That little opening cutscene didn't show a lot, but we'll find out where the story's going in just a second. And click on this last bud, let's see what happens. That doesn't look like a good thing. That looks like a crazy black spider thing that really should die. If I had a newspaper, I would kill it. Oh! Get away from it! Oh, he's mad. Oh, look at that. That is the main hero character of the game known as Mr. Lantern, and those are his four buddies. And that's uh, the weird spider creature antagonist of the game. That last bud seems to be sprouting... Uh, oh, an entire tree. Look at that. Alrighty. Now he's waking up his buddies. One, two, three, and four. There's the last gentleman. And he's carrying it with him. And what is this thing? Oh, it lost its feathers. Oh, now we can't get past him. Alright, so the five main characters of the game are Mr. Lantern, who is the little red onion guy in front, Mrs. Mushroom, the mushroom right behind him, Mr. Poppyhead, the big red uh, nut looking guy, Mr. Twig, and Mr. Feather. You can pretty much figure out which ones they are. And right now we seem to be at an impasse. Let's click on this guy. Huh, he can't fly away because he lost his feathers. And in the top right hand corner, there are two, I'm sorry, three empty feather marks. So it looks like we have to get this gentleman's feathers back to him so he can fly away. So let's, uh, let's go back up. Maybe they're back up here somewhere. One of the things you'll notice about this game is that there is no dialogue and no, well, no spoken dialogue at all. The story is told completely through 
pictures and through muffled dialogue, really. People going, <laughs> kind of like uh, Kenny from South Park. The previous game by Amanita Design called Machinarium also did the same thing. I have also completed that game. I might do a Let's Play of that one in the future. I haven't decided yet. But for right now, we'll just stick with a Botanicula. I actually like this game better anyway. All right, we can go several directions here. We can go left, right, or up. But actually, what I want to do at first is just click on stuff, because that's what this game's all about, is clicking on stuff and seeing how things organically react to your mouse movement. Like I said earlier, things react when you just hover over them, like these leaves. You can't see the mouse, but I'm hovering the mouse over the leaves. They're kind of moving back and forth. Um, let's try clicking on this guy in the bottom right, this little spiky thing. All right, he ran away. Let's click on the leaf that he's on. No, he's running away again. Let's try clicking on him again. Huh. It always pays to click more and more as you play this game. Oh, he's carrying more fruit. Oh, he's carrying a pumpkin now. Hello. Carrying a jack-o'-lantern. Let's click on that. Oh, he lit up. Let's click on it again. Oh, there we go. This bug thing came out. And we got a creature card. There are many creature cards in the game. You unlock all of them just by clicking on the creature wherever they may be hiding. They don't actually serve any kind of gameplay purpose. Um, they're just more of a collectible. Um, if you're playing on Steam, the game has somewhere in the neighborhood of 50, 55 achievements. And most of them involve just getting these cards. Like I said, there's no real gameplay benefit to them. They're just kind of cool. Um, actually, there is one thing that happens at the end of the game that differs depending on how many of these things you collect. But it's not game-changing by a huge margin or anything, so let's get back out of that. Uh, let's click on some more stuff. What does this little twig do? Oh, a little flower. A little bug pollinating it. Let's click on this little green thing on here, over here. Oh, he's eating some leaves now. Oh, he got full and then he fell off. Let's click on this. Just click, click, click. Why not? That's what it's there for. I should also mention that if you are watching this on YouTube, and chances are that you are, I highly, highly recommend uh, maximizing the video for your entire screen. This game has a lot of small objects that you can't really see very well if you're watching it in the YouTube standard window. Um, also, if you can, uh, if your internet connection is fast enough for 720p, I highly recommend it. Uh, it'll make everything look more crisp and more clean. This game is one of the best looking games I've ever seen as far as an artistic design standpoint. The color, the sound, everything is just totally amazing. So let's, uh, let's go up. Let's see what is up there. That seems to be where Mr. Poppyhead came from. His family. Let's try clicking on them. Nothing seems to happen. Oh, we got another creature card. Right there. I'm not going to collect everyone in the game. Uh, I'll collect a lot of them, probably just naturally playing through the game. And you will too if you play this game. Just by clicking on stuff and seeing how it reacts. But I'm by no means going to be a uh, completionist on this run. This is just a... Just a fun let's play to do. Oh, I got another one. Oh, this guy. I'll probably end up with about 30, 35 out of 50. Now let's go left. Let's see what's over here. Uh, let's click on these guys. These little flowers. They got pollinated. Also, if you're playing a, if you're playing this game on a PC like I am, I highly recommend playing with headphones. This game has fantastic atmospheric music that really absorbs you into its experience. And there doesn't seem to be anything else here, so let's go up. All right, this is where Mrs. Mushroom came from, and nothing else of note here except maybe the leaf is red. Let's try clicking on that. A little bug came out.
and he's just flying around. That's fun. But again, it does not really help us. We still need to find three feathers for that, uh, that big flying thing that's impeding our progress. So let's go, uh, let's go left this time. Uh oh Oh, we got mean bully people. Huh. Wonder, um... Let's try clicking on them, see what happens. Yeah, they just yell at us. Oh, but we have a feather behind it. They're guarding that for some reason. Why do they care? Ah, oh, who cares? They sound like dogs barking at you. Alright, this is one of the main parts of the game where you can select one of your five characters to keep the game going. Uh, there is one right answer, but there's no penalty for a wrong answer. Actually, <laughs> it's kind of funny. When you click on the wrong when you click on the wrong one, this little funny thing happens, so let's click on this. That's pretty tame. Let's click on Mrs. Mushroom. Sneak past like a little dog. Nope, that didn't work either. Oh, I'm getting kind of ticked off with these guys. Let's get the big guy out there. Nope. Man, he just won't budge. Let's fly past him. Let's use Mr. Feather. Ah! Well, that only leaves Mr. Twig. Let's, uh... I just got a South Park callback, Mr. Twig. Uh, Mr. Twig, let's use that. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. Well done. Now we have one of the three feathers, and these guys don't know that that feather is gone, so let's just run away. And let's head back to the main intersection. And let's go right this time. Hmm. Seems to be a hole in the branch. Nothing we can do with that now. Let's keep going to the right. Let's see what's over here. Oh, there's a feather. Let's click on that. Well, that was easy. We didn't have to do anything. We just had to find it. Well, let's go back. You know, maybe that path up leads to the last one. Let's, uh, let's give that a shot. Yeah, let's head up. And up once more. And we have another red leaf here. Nothing much else of note. Click on it once, a little bug comes out. But like most things in this game, clicking more is always the right solution. So let's keep clicking on Oh my god, what the hell is that? Hey, feather! Ah, fell in that little hole in the branch. And once again, we can select one of the five guys to, uh, to get to it. So let's try Twig. Oh. He went right through the branch. Let's try Mushroom. Huh. That didn't really seem to work. Let's try the Feather Guy. Ugh. We don't want that. Well, that leaves us with two options. Mr. Lantern and Mr. Poppyhead. Let's try Mr. Poppyhead. Nope, won't fit in there. <laughs> How do you get over there so fast? Maybe there was time lapse and we didn't know it. And yes, for each of these parts of the game, I did write down what is the correct one, and I'm doing them last because I always like to see the wrong ones first. They're amusing, and if you pick the right one... Before you pick all the wrong ones, you'll miss those little funny moments. So let's pick the right one. Let's pick Mr. Lantern. Oh, we got a shell. Let's click on that. There it is. Fantastic. We now have all three feathers. You know what? I just want to click on this shell once more. Let's see what happens. Or twice more. Three times. Four times. Look at that. Little, uh, little cephalopod snail guy came out. Fantastic. Now we have his card. 
which is uh, over here somewhere. There it is. Anyway, well now we have all three feathers, so let's head back to the impasse over here. And uh, we're actually out of time for this video, so I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.